Whisk, out, whisk, out, whisk, out, whisk, out, whisk, out, whisk, out, whisk, out. What's up, Sussies? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, Sussies, for this message to resonate. Just please make sure you're using discernment, Sussies. Take what resonate and leave the rest behind. Also, be mindful. I could be saying he. It could be a she. I could be saying she. It could be a he. Okay? So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine, my ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angels. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energy for my collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close and shut that door. Please and thank you. I'm going to be pulling from the soulmates and separation unspoken love messages. Um, Article that. Holy Spirit, what's the most important messages? I collect the sun seeds, need to know. Okay, so this person is um uh, wants you to know that they're working on them so they can work on a better you and them. So this person is uh, working on themselves. This person could be a hermit, self-reflecting, or for source energy, just healing so they can become a better person for this connection. I should have listened to my intuition. So somebody is in regret about not listening to their intuition. Somebody knew what they wanted, they knew what they needed, and they still ignored their intuition. Mm. Nobody is like you. Mm. You are magical. You are special. Nobody does it for this person like how you do it. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> okay? Somebody knew what they wanted, they knew what they needed, but they still ignored their intuition. I carry guilt for the way I mistreated you. So this person walks around carrying a lot of guilt for the way they mistreated you, Sunsies. Mm. I feel like <clears throat> this person, um, their feelings towards you is very strong. It's hard. It's hard to live with this guilt. They could be in a lot of grief, like a five of cups, a lot of regret. They could be hiding this, the moon card I'm getting. What does this allow me to, to work on? Let me hold this <clears throat> I struggle with love and expressing it. It just does not come easy. So this person struggles with expressing themselves when it comes to love. Mm -hmm. This person could come on very cold and detached. But deep down inside, they're like a king of cups or queen of cups. But they come off as like a king of swords or a queen of swords. You know? very guarded um don't like to you know show that much of their feelings more logical yeah somebody struggles with this it's like somebody <clears throat> but i feel like you could always tell like what's on this person's mind when they're around you or for some of you guys you could tell what's on this person's mind even when they're not around you um sunseeds you can just tell yeah, maybe you, you can be feeling this person's energy. Maybe they can be sending energy to you energetically. Mm. My light just went off. Yeah. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody wants you to know, like, I'm down for you. I rock with you, you know? Somebody don't want you to give up on this connection, but they, they, they don't show how they feel, you know? The feelings are strong. This person feels strong feelings for you. But when it comes to expressing it, I feel like they don't do that and they're very detached. It's like somebody wants you to read their mind. I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you as my complete whole self. You accepted me for me. The good, the bad, the ugly. And I couldn't do the same. So you accepted this person for the good and the bad in them. Um, the ugly, the flaws, all of that. But when it came down to you, this person couldn't accept the good and the bad in you. They couldn't. Somebody just wanted you to be perfect. That's what it sounded like to me. They wanted you to be perfect. They didn't want you to have no flaws. Um, somebody just wanted you to rock with them for who they were. But when it came down to you, somebody was not. They wasn't ready to do that. Mm-mm. So some, this is somebody who ignored their intuition, how they was feeling. And it's like any little thing you did or anything that they, they you know, they dislike or they didn't agree with, they use that as a scapegoat mm -hmm. to run from this connection. All those secrets I kept, all those secrets I, I, 
Ugh. All those secrets I kept caught up with me. Each and every last one of them. So this person's secrets is being exposed. You see this person for who they truly are. I feel like a lot of you guys could be shining or will be shining. You know, somebody is going to be in a lot of regret. Mm -hmm. Even more than what they are in now. When you look at me, it makes me feel worse. You see a side of me, others don't. I can't hide from you. Yeah. you. This person knows you see through them like a glass window. And they hide this from others, but they can't hide it from you. That's why they. That's why this person's ran. ran. This, is, this person could have possibly ghosted you or just picked any reason to go, you know, MIA on you. Mm-hmm. Like if any, whatever flaw you had, any little flaw, this person just, just use that to just, just escape. <laughs> I'm afraid that it's too late to turn around and make it right. So this person is afraid that you guys is not even open to making things right with this person because you see right through them. Yeah, again, I came back out. All those secrets I kept caught up with me each and every last one. This person is being exposed or will be. I'm scared you will not accept me now. So this person is afraid that when their secrets be exposed, that you won't accept them. Um, I feel like what you know about them is just like part of it. But I feel like you're about to find out some more about this person. And it's about to expose and, and illuminate a lot of um, illusions. Let's get these cards that fell out on the floor, son. I thought it was another one. Holy Spirit, give me some more. Thank you. Codependency and you deserve love. This person is letting third parties' addictions um, affect this relationship. Oh, this is what they did before, and now they could be working on that. Somebody feels like you deserve love because you're very lovable. Um, this person just put people, places, and things, whatever this, you know, um, before this connection, whatever they did, whatever this codependency is, it's something that they didn't want to let go at the time. Now somebody is trying to heal and work through that um, because somebody feels like you deserve love. You know, even though they, they feel like, um, you know, you might want to accept them back um, and they're afraid that it's too late to make things right. Somebody still is going to take the chance because somebody feels like after what they did to you, somebody don't ever want to be wrong about. They don't ever want to be wrong again like how they is now. So it's giving like somebody misjudge you. Mm -hmm. And look, it says, I feel I feel safer hiding and watching from a distance. That way you're not close enough to hurt me. So you see the truth about this person hurts them. Because this person is used to hiding and masking that. You see the, the truth about this person. It triggers them. Give me more Holy Spirit. So we have forgiven and learning in reverse. This person don't feel like you're going to forgive them. For whatever is about to come out, this person feels like you're not going to forgive them. It is safe for you to love and unrequited love. This person didn't feel like it would be um, safe to um, make this commitment to you or um, to, you know, to just, just, just be open to, you know, um, this connection. Somebody, somebody chose something that you know they was used to doing over this connection you know they they didn't give you enough um they didn't give you enough love affection or even attention to keep this relationship going somebody ignored their intuition they knew how they felt deep down inside but they ignored it they knew that it would be safe to love you they knew that but because you see the truth about this person um, it triggers this person because this person is used to being around people that don't know them. So they, it's easy for them to mask themselves, but they know that you see right through them. They know that. And somebody feels like you won't forget them. 
you won't forgive them because you just you it's not like you 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 um you're clueless to why they did what they did you know like somebody was a coward or a clown you know they know damn well you deserve love you know this person could have been very clingy okay like just wanted all your attention wanted you to give 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 over yourself but they gave you unrequited love in return what the heck this person feels like you're the only one that can hurt them yeah, but the only way how you could hurt them is just by knowing the truth of who they are. So this is somebody who's okay with masking themselves. Oh, shit. Somebody who's afraid and scared that you won't accept them or you won't see them the same anymore. Oh, What's the code dependency? Okay, honeymoon and new love. Maybe this person had, like, sex addiction. This is somebody who likes to, like, when things don't go their way, this is somebody who would mess around or sleep around or or engage in, in engage into, um, you know, um, starting over or giving me, like, rebound energy. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is somebody who could have tried to find you and other people <laughs> because you see right through them. Yeah, this person was trying to find you and, and new love and other people start over, okay? Possibly was, you know, hanging out, taking people out, doing all of this. Mm -mm. Somebody was trying to find you and other people. This is somebody who didn't want to make the effort um, when it came to this connection because they, they weren't ready. They weren't ready. And somebody feels like you won't forgive them for that. Something that's going to be exposed to you, some type of truth or something you're going to see. Somebody feels like you just won't forgive them. They know you deserve it of love. Um, they know they gave you unrequited love as well. First, it could be under judgment. What's this unrequited love? <clears throat> unrequited love is release your ex. Yeah, I feel like you walked away from this connection, Sunseeds. Yeah, but somebody who wants to express their love... Um, hoping that you keep an open mind. You can trust them. Engagement, wedding, passion. Who child. Somebody who wasn't once ready before is now getting themselves together because they want to give you a proposal. Somebody wants to settle down with you. Um, and it's somebody who you released it because they gave you unrequited love. Somebody is coming back in a whole new different version of them as they heal. Somebody want to start over calling in your soulmate. Somebody want to start off from the beginning. Now they want to make the effort. Mm-hmm. Somebody is very attracted to you. Okay, have a lot of romantic feelings for you as well. Mm. Yeah, this is this person is coming back as a whole new version of them. But they feel like you might not forget them for what they did. Give me the moves here. Queen of Wands. Very ambitious, um, very popular, vibrant, confident, very powerful, sexy, strong. Someone who take charge of their life. Something about your confidence. This person didn't like. They didn't like that. But the very, but the very one thing that they was attracted to was the very one thing they didn't like about you. Mm, wow. Oh, yeah. Give me more Holy Spirit. Could be dealing with a fire sign. The sun card, Leo. <laughs> Someone who shines bright. Um, feel like you brought a lot of happiness into this person's world. Um, this person sees you as very prosperous, very lucky. Somebody could feel like things just come to you adversely. Um, You have a lot of fulfillment in your life, a lot of love a lot, from a lot of, you know, a lot of achievements. You're just happy with every area of your life. And someone didn't like that. No, six of swords under the bottom. You could, that yeah, six of swords to the ten of pentacles to the justice. Damn, come through Holy spirit. Okay, your guides are um, guiding you to release this, your ex, release this baggage. Um you're moving on. <laughs> it's like you accepting the lesson and you're moving on. You're overcoming whatever hardship that this connection brought you in with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Um, you could be uh, finding new love at a distance, maybe overseas or while you're traveling. But you, wherever you're going, you're moving away to karma waters. And it's, it's going to make you, this could be like a marriage or a family 
or some type of inheritance. Um, something something that's going to make you um, happy. I just heard a lot of money as well. But I see you creating a legacy. Um, a windfall of blessings is coming in. And we have the justice. This is your justice. You was confident. You was happy. You is this is this is this beautiful spirit about you, and it it it, it kind of it triggered this person in a way that you would have thought like, well, well, you know, I think anybody would want that in a woman or a man, but for this person, whoever you got with, <laughs> they was operating in in the man downstairs because I don't see anybody that's operating in their light energy would even look at you and 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 want to treat you this way that's why they feel bad five of swords <laughs> they feel defeated because <laughs> whatever conflict they were trying to cause it was just like you <laughs> you still ten toes down you're still happy oh child so with the justice and the sun card being out here it's you're gonna be happy <laughs> it's your car you get karmic justice okay can I have a card on the justice, Holy Spirit? You did a fire sign, an air sign. Justice. Justice is clarified with the will of fortune. Something was fated to happen this way. It was fated to happen. Mm -hmm. The star card to the four swords. Who chat? This person is wishing that they can heal things with this star energy. Somebody is wishing that they would have made better choices and decisions when it came to this connection. Somebody is also wishing that they would have married you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I have a card on the sun, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. The sun. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Queen of Swords. Okay. There's some type of truth that you are seeing. <laughs> okay. I feel like you're very intelligent. Um... You're very smart. And you see the truth about this person. This person was intimidated by you. They were. Six of Cups in reverse. This is somebody from your past. Um that I don't I don't see you wanting to reunite with. <laughs> you feel like this person gave you unrequited love. Um, you feel like the way they have done you is just like no coming back. Um, it's giving give heavy betrayal. Um, but this person, um, from your past is like it makes somebody paranoid about you knowing some type of truth. What does it pick up in reverse? Yeah, ace of swords to the eight of wands. <laughs> some type of truth or communication that you're speaking or that's getting out. Somebody pulls some type of way. What's the six of cups in reverse? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The tower in reverse. So somebody was trying to like avoid some type of upheaval or a towel or some type of sudden change. Okay, but um you see the truth. Mm -hmm. And it caused a breakup, a separation where you decided was like, nope, this don't serve me no more. I'm out of here. Okay, yeah, the strength card. Yes. You was very courageous, very strong. Okay. Mm -hmm. The number eight, the number 19, the number six, and the number 11. You can be seeing those numbers. What's the shirt for? You had the willpower um, to, you know, reject something from your past. Yes. What's the shirt for? What's that? Page of Wands. So somebody wants to communicate to you. They want to talk to you. They want to message you. Okay. Mm. I feel like what you feel like the spark is gone though. What's the page of one? I feel like whatever this is, you just feel like the spark is gone. Yeah, three of pentacles. Maybe you're deciding to like go where you feel like you know where you're passionate at, where you know creative minds just like you, people that are just like like minded like you. Yeah, nine of cups, some type of wish, okay, is coming in for you, some type of wish or satisfaction. But with the world card in reverse, somebody was like, somebody feels like you guys have unfinished business. What's the world card in reverse? Somebody who you used to work with um, that you don't want to talk to from your past. They feel like you got unfinished business. What's the world in reverse? Uh, 
the emperor, the high priestess, Aries, Pisces, energy, two of pentacles, three of wands. Somebody is feeling um, like they need to make a decision when it comes to their future. Um, this person can have a lot going on. But this person is, is, is now wants to choose their intuition when it comes to working with you in the near future. Somebody is set on, you know, being with you. What's the emperor? What's the emperor? But they feel, you know, you standing your ground. The Empress clarified with the seven of wands. Somebody feels like you're defending yourself or defending, you know, you, you just defending yourself in a situation. What's the six of wands? Nine of Pentacles, the full card. Maybe you definitely could be freeing yourself and deciding to be by yourself and work alone or just choose new love. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody is protecting their reputation, what they stand on, who they are. Like somebody wanted you to bend. Like, how? How? What's the six of wands? Like, you could accept them for them, but they can't accept the good and the bad in you. That's not fair. What's the six of wands? Six of Wands, you like heck no. Yeah, you like heck no. I can't make it up. The cherry, you like heck no. Cancer energy, five of wands, the temperance card. Yeah. Somebody who whoever this person is, you could have had a lot of arguments or, or conflict or you know, it could have been egos clashing, you know, take it how it resonates. But there's balance that's being restored in your life as you move forward towards your purpose. Um you know, um, I feel like you're a powerful alchemist. You know, you're transmuting that energy into something positive. And it's bringing you into some, a lot of um, whatever this wish is when it comes to, um, you know, family, happiness, wealth, whatever you're wishing for. You know, it's going to be different for, you know, everybody. Um, business, working with like-minded people like you, just getting a victory, you know, moving on. Yeah, Ace of Wands, there's a new passion and beginning for you. Um, I feel like you're just, you're just moving on from that, you know, from the conflict or somebody who's in competition with you without you even knowing you like, well, damn, <laughs> yeah, the lovers, somebody, who the hell would have like, who, the lovers to the moon, I cannot make this up, like, this is somebody who's in secret competition with you and all types of crap, yeah, the, the lovers to the moon, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Eight of Wands, some type of communication. Um, you know, you moving forward, you traveling, or some type of action that you taking. Ace of Swords, that's the truth to the Empress. Come through, Empress. Amen. Like, somebody is realizing, like, you're not stuck. You're moving. You're zooming. Like, somebody was in secret competition with you. It's something that you're saying that this person does not like. Eight of Wands to the Ace of Swords. Whatever communication that you say in Empress, it's the damn truth, okay? It's the damn truth. Page of Cup, Three of Swords. Somebody feel like their heart is broken. Mm-hmm. Because this is somebody who 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 wish that they can, you know, trade how they feel now, you know, um, for the way how they felt in the beginning when they first met you. Now somebody wants to rush in and, and apologize or, you know, or propose to you or send you some type of surprise or, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. But this is somebody who who's who's hurt now. Yeah, they hurt. What's the um, three of swords? Yeah, ten of swords. I feel like this person also hurt you as well. But with the Ten of Swords, it's like somebody somebody cannot accept the reason why they feel in the way how they feel is because of what they did to you. Yeah, to the star. What they did to the star. Yes, Seven of Swords. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Scheming, lying, stealing. Ooh, chef. Yeah. Backstabbing. Two of Wands. Making reckless choices and decisions. King of Pentacles. Somebody is wishing that they would have chosen a different path. Yeah, page of pentacles and reverse. Yeah, knight of pentacles. The devil. 
Ooh, child. Somebody who's obsessing over a new beginning with you. Mm -hmm. This person is slow because they're putting in hard work behind the scenes. And right now, somebody could feel like they're getting karma for the way they treated you. Anything that they stole from you, you're getting back 10 times full. But this person is learning a lesson. Ten of Cups, the High Friend, High Priestess, Four of Wands. This could be a Twin Flame or a Soul Meat. Take a heart resonate, Sun Seeds. But whoever this person is with the Four of Wands and the High Priestess, somebody is wishing that they wouldn't have listened to their intuition and married you, got engaged with, engaged with you, or given you some type of commitment with the High Friend to the Ten of Cups because you made this person completely happy. Completely happy. But it was something about your confidence. It was something about the way how you shine. It's something about you knowing the truth. You speaking the truth. Somebody does not like that. They like fake and you just don't operate off that. That ain't that ain't your kind of tuck cup of tea. Okay? Five of swords. Five of cups. Okay? Yeah, somebody is in regret. Mm-hmm. Five of swords. They're in regret about this relationship. Eight of pentacles. They want to work on things. They want to heal things. But they feel like... Mm, you decided with the two of pentacles, eight of cups, maybe uh, to walk away from this connection. Okay. King of swords, nine of pentacles, three of cups in reverse. Somebody is realized, somebody feel like you don't want to reconcile with them. This could be friends, um, co-workers, romantic relationship, but somebody is realizing that you is cutting them out. You don't want to work with them. You don't want to party. You don't want to hang out. You don't want to chill. You don't want to rekindle. You want to nine of pentacles. To the Ace of Cups. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, yeah. I feel like, uh-uh. You just like, I don't, you know. I'm just a messenger. But this is how this somebody feels. That's why we have the forgiving and learning in reverse. Um, I hope you guys did forgive this person. Which I know majority of my collective sunsees did. Right, sunsees? Okay. But just because you forgive somebody don't mean you gotta you gotta you know you gotta reconcile with them. And somebody they're afraid of that. They're afraid as they work on themselves and they heal in the background that when they come towards you for this for marriage or a proposal or this, this commitment that they, they feel like you're deserving of now. Um I won't say now that you're deserving of, it's just that now they will be ready. Somebody feels like you're not gonna be open to it. Hmm. Somebody could have lied to you about being single because um, they were trying to break free from a karmic situation. Yeah. There's a decision to be made and I'm scared to make the wrong move and lose you forever. I'm telling you, but somebody made a decision in the past, but that was the past. Okay, so, you know, a majority of this, see, this is the could have happened in the past. Somebody is now... Trying to right their wrong, right their wrongs as they heal. So a lot of you guys went through this in the past with this person. Okay, this person is saying they are scared um, to make the wrong decision now because they feel like they're gonna lose you forever. Somebody feels like every man or every woman want you. Mm hmm. Somebody feels like every man or woman will feel like how they feel about you. Good job. Words can never express how much love, appreciation, and respect that I have for you. You visit me in my dreams. I cannot escape the thoughts of you and I need to fill your body or mine. Divine timing is at play and we need to wait for union. Time to heal and evolve. Mm, divine timing is at play. I feel like you had to release this person because if you wouldn't have, this person would have never changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But for some of you guys, this person ran anyway because they were just too triggered. This person, and I like the fact that something that you speak out, something that you say, they know is the truth. And they and they, they used to masking themselves. You made me want to be the better, to, to be the best version of myself. I'm ensuring that I master my higher self. This your person. I know that we belong together. There's a higher purpose for our connection. You are all I think about. Mm. And I want and I want to know every little thing about you. So this person wants to get to know you better as well. That could be that new love and honeymoon. Somebody wants to like come in a whole different version of themselves and start from fresh. Um, start from start fresh from the beginning. 
you are very strong and special to me. And I'm planning on taking action to prove how important you really are in my life. Yeah. This person, <laughs> they coming back for you, baby. It is not over. I would love story will inspire others and will help change the world. This person wants to move in with you. This person doesn't want you talking to anyone else. I'm transforming. This person is going through a major transformation in their life. You make me you make me long for love and romance. I thought that only existed in movies. This person is not giving up. <laughs> Somebody is telling people, conversating with people, like, I think I'm in love. I don't know if this is person first rodeo when it comes to being in love. Um, or this or you just they they very first true love. Mm-hmm. And it scared this person. But it hurts this person even more because they ignored the intuition. When someone would just... Somebody who's... Somebody who's six of one. Somebody gets a lot of attention. Somebody don't like that you get a lot of attention. They don't like that. They don't like that you're the empress, the sun, all the queens in the deck. Somebody don't like your strength, how strong you are. Somebody doesn't like how radiant you are. Somebody doesn't like how protected you are. How you always getting your wishes. Somebody is just like, damn. I don't know who they used to. Ooh, yeah, what they used to. But um, <laughs> they ran into the right one. <laughs> I love you, Sunsees. I hope this reading resonates. I hope it helped you guys. Gave you guys clarity on your situation. You already know, Sunsees. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. Okay? Later, Sunsees.